Welcome to the Village Board meeting of April 11th. Um, Jude, take us off. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right. Are going to um, enter the public comment section 701. If anyone has any comments from the audience, please step up to the podium. State your name and address and we'll keep it to five minutes. And looks like we don't have anybody this evening. So we are going to. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to have a presentation on our 24-25 tentative budget. That's the second one. Huh? No, that's a public here. So we're going to start talking about the budget. We're going to talk about the services the village offers its residents, events held throughout the year, the budget process, and finally the budgets for general and sewer funds. Uh, here are some of the services the Village of Webster offers to its residents and community members. Um, I thought a, a fun fact that I've learned since I've worked here is that the Village of Webster is one of the only ones that has a Village Band. Um, so that's interesting. And um, as you can see, we, we keep busy around here. Uh, some of the community events that have been throughout the year in the Village that we take pride in celebrating. The Halloween costume contest, Veterans Day luncheon, Santa at the Village Hall, and the 9-11 ceremony are carried out by the Village and participate in conjunction with other businesses for the GS Fest and Shred events. Here's a timeline of the budget. When you start thinking and talking about the budget in December, uh, by January and February, we are holding discussions with the mayor and department heads. Depending on how dates fall, we hold workshops in February, March. Today, April 11th, we hold the public uh, hearing on the tenant budget and present it to the um, public. On uh, April 25th, the board will approve the budget. process, the building blocks, and developing the budget. We take into consideration historical data, estimates from department heads, known fixed amounts, upcoming projects long and short term. Sorry. No, you did that. Don't you get it? No. He's tell, I think he's telling you where it says meetings and discussion with the mayor and the department heads. I forgot the board. Oh, I'm sorry. And the board. Um, Good catch out. Please continue. But some of those are, are held in office. So that to that point, some of those conversations are held in the office during the, the work hours. Thank you. Um, for that point. Um, but in developing the budget, we take into consideration historical data, estimates from department has known fixed amounts, upcoming projects, long and short term, changes in state and federal funding, economic trends, the tax cap, and constitutional tax limit. Uh, essentially, we, we like to uh, budget to the tax cap. This year, the board will approve be approving to go over the tax rate in order to keep the tax rate steady. Here are some pictures of general fund as we get into the um, budget. Some of the projects and vehicles that we will be um, doing in 24-25. Uh, vehicles W7, W20, and W8 are being replaced. Eight. Oh, 18, I'm sorry. Thank you. This includes the street sweeper and backhoe leases. There will be paving and milling completed as well as sidewalks on Phillips Road. The break room for DBW will be getting a facelift as well as new windows and doors at the Village Hall. There will also be an increase in drainage work and new heating planters for flowers throughout the village. We also budgeted 
100K towards the New York Forward Grant in good faith. As you can see on the screen, the tax rate remains the same as the previous year at 2.268 per thousand. Property tax revenue will be 637,352. Sales tax is budgeted at 1,550,926. State and federal aid is budgeted at 320,776. The other revenues are budgeted at $856,671. This includes pilots, gross utility tax, franchise fees, uh, clerk treasure fees, sale of equipment, interest, uh, rental of real property taxes, or, I'm sorry, rental of real property, licenses, and permits. And we're also appropriating uh, $98,387 from the Amazon fund balance. And that gives us a total estimated revenues of $3,365,725. And then here, our revenue in the, in the pie chart, I think it's important to, to recognize that property taxes do not make up most of general funds revenue. We are dependent on sales tax revenue. Um, and as you can see on the screen, property tax revenue makes up less than a quarter um, of all revenues. Uh, here are the... Uh, Here are the um, expenses in pie chart form. They equal revenues. Um, as you can see on the screen, transportation makes up the biggest cost. This includes snow removal, street lighting, street lighting, sidewalks, and parking. The next largest portion is general government. This is the front office costs, records management, group treasure expenses, lawyer, IT, and municipal dues. Uh, employee makes Employee benefits make up 17%. Other is at 16%. This is public health, debt service, and economic development, and recreation. Home and community makes up 7%. This includes zoning, storm sewers, refuse, street cleaning, and trees and um, uh, or John driving us uh, into sewer. <laughs> and here are a few more pictures of He's sitting backwards. Yeah, he is. Crazy driver. <laughs> here are some uh, sewer fund projects that are upcoming. Um, planning to look, uh, plant our varieties by the back storage area. There's fencing, a pole barn, a community tour replacement, and a blower replacement. As with general fund, the sewer rates also will be remaining the same. <clears throat> this means that if you're a single family resident in the village, you'll see the $225 on your tax bill. If your home or business is considered commercial sewer, you will continue to be invoiced quarterly with a minimum amount due of $56.25 based on usage. <clears throat> Estimated revenues are just under $1.4 million. We will be using the remaining ARP funds of a little over, it is under 166,000 towards sewer. <coughs> uh, these and permits are estimated at 23,980. We will also be appropriate $147,720 from unreserved fund balance, making the total appropriations $1,737,231. And here are the estimated revenues in pie chart form. As you can see, sewer fund is almost completely um, self-funded with, with their sewer charges. Um, same with um, general fund. Um, expenses and revenues are budgeted to, to match each other. As you can see, the home and community services make up the most of sewer fund at 56%. This includes the um, sewage treatment and disposal, sewer admin and collection. The debt service makes up 23%. Employee benefits is at 8% and transfer to reserves at 7%. And 6% is general government support. And 
this concludes the presentation. Um, if you would like a copy of the time and budget, it's at the front desk of the village hall or can be found on our website. Thank you. You're welcome.20 ton under and it was about 37 tons so we're going to see if some some years they let us slide and some years they're like no you got to get extra so we're we yeah. trying to fill the bins and we said next year it's going to be more expensive and it doesn't go stale so might as well okay. give it some do it thanks thanks thank you all right all right well that's for motion to approve, approve the claims of arms so we'll make a motion and second Trustee Valcade? Aye. Trustee Lindsay? Aye. Trustee Aye. Motion passes. All right, moving along here. We're going to need a motion to authorize uh, myself to sign a lease agreement with Fritz at 19 West Main Street. Jake, did you want to speak to this at all? You can't give me a little explanation. Oh, yeah, it's just we've had a long standing lease yes. with. Um, 19 West Main is a coach for the uh, parking lot, excuse me, for municipal use in the back there. Uh, and the walkway that runs between the parking lot and Main Street. Um, this at least needed to be redone. And so uh, when we were discussing redoing it, there was a couple of additional requests from the property owner. Um, I think there were entirely reasonable ones to strike a spot there on the north side uh, next to the grass and the other one that I think the most important is the uh, maintenance of that area between the sidewalk and the building. Um, we have all our visitors and guests and customers go up and down there we've never really had the ability other than the past lease we can mulch it once a year but to maintain that or do anything and it's a main pedestrian thoroughfare so it would be nice if and that's one of the chief complaints that we get is it doesn't look really nice over there. So exactly. if we have the opportunity and authority to work on it, make it nice, it should be relatively uh, easy to do. Um, you know, the first time obviously it's gonna be a little work, but that way we'll be able to maintain that area, maintain the trees that are there. So if we're inviting people to walk down there, we should make sure the trees aren't gonna hit them in the noggin. So I think it's, uh, I think they're, Couple good changes that aren't, aren't unreasonable for sure. And you know, I agree. Well, I talked, we talked a little bit about it. So. I don't have any questions on it. If so not, I would like to get your permission to sign. And I'd like to get OSHA to give you permission to sign for Don. Oh, Don's got something. No, I was just going to say the only other change was. Well, the lease term is seven and a half years, and, and unlike the old lease, this one is automatically renewable. You don't have to do anything. 
the other one, we were supposed to give written notice that we wanted that the village wanted to renew it, so which sometimes is. slipped through the cracks. Yeah. So it's more. This is the more normal way to do it. Is and it's got a um, the village can cancel it on 30 days written notice oh, nice. to the coach, or they can cancel it on six months notice to the village. Otherwise, it's seven and a half years automatically renewable. For an additional seven and a half years, so it's actually a fifteen-year fifteen-year lease of the parking lot and the and the sidewalk that goes um, next to the building. I think that's good for all the businesses around there. Yeah. Yes. So fits is agreeable. Since, since, agreeable. since the old one has expired, it's important that this one gets executed promptly. Yeah. Okay. And John's yeah. being very nice to explain because I didn't pick up on the fact when it says automatically renewed, I assumed that it would automatically renew, but it automatically renewed if you did something. Yes. So yeah. Believe it or not, they do that a lot. Yeah. Yes. yeah, it seems kind of contrary, so, <laughs> but it's, a, yeah. Yeah. Unless you diaried for it, some, you know, seven and a half years from when it was signed, yep. how are you going to remember to do that? You know? Right. Yeah. Um, so we changed it to it's good. Make sense. actually automatic. <laughs> yeah, to make it really automatic. I'll see now we need to expedite this. I will ask once again for your help on this. Yeah, my blessing. Same here. <laughs> so, that was the motion. That's the motion. <laughs> Trustee Belkane? Aye. Trustee Lancey? Aye. Trustee Apolito? Aye. Motion passes. Like we have a couple more minutes, um, uh, so we're going to have. I'll be asking for a motion to accept the proposal from Lapella to update existing terms. I think this really just extends the right until like the 31st of 2025 or something. Right? Yes, sir. Um, I don't think there's any literature change in there. Right? Their hourly rates change basically. Uh, not shocking. <laughs> But everything else stands the same, correct? It says right in here. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. Frankly, I think their hourly rates are pretty reasonable. Yeah, 100%. Compared, yes, compared yes. to some other engineering firms. Yeah. No, they've done a good job. Yeah. That's the other thing. They're great to work with. I love working with them. Yeah. All right. Good organization. And. Who is signing this? Does this need to be signed today yeah. as well, or is that? Is this, is this one Jake signs? I mean, can I the author when I can ask for a motion to have Jake sign? It says Jake, yeah. Second last page there. Where Daryl's on the left. Actually, it just says client name by. I, I authorize the deputy mayor to sign it in the mayor's absence. All right. You can do it in the same resolution. Huh? You can do it in the same resolution. Just add it on to the whatever. All right. So. Motion for the deputy mayor to sign the associates existing charter service agreement. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Trustee Lanzi? Aye. Trustee Belkane? Aye. Trustee Apolito? Aye. Motion passes. Alright, so it looks like we've got it. Sneak in the um, motion for the proposal for the Bella Associates regarding the speedies permit. Yeah. If, if I can, real quick before it's considered, I want to modify that and have task 103 removed. Um, that's the update, the super use law updates. I think 
um, we can take a crack at that in-house. Um, then maybe, you know, have it reviewed or something at the end. But I think that um, we certainly did that with the building inspector or building um, and the fire um, prevention portions of our code last year wasn't overly fun, but it's certainly doable. And I unfortunately don't make 17 grand for that amount of time. So I think it would be more advantageous for the village to have us look at it in house, like in in as much as I know they need to eat too. I think so do our residents. So I would suggest you taking this 17 grand. Well, taking yeah, taking 103 off. Good with that. Yeah. What's that? And I then agree. you know. And if it's something later, we have to say, hey, yeah, but I, I think it's something we can certainly look at. They, they do a great job, but it, yeah. I think we do a great job, too. So, uh, and so that was just, if, if you, when you do consider a resolution, if you do, to have, you know, sign like, the, or have author, authorization for the deputy mayor to sign um, an updated one with 10, task 103 removed. If that's acceptable to them. Yeah, well, this one, they they did it under Jake's oh. signature at the end, unlike yeah, the other one. Okay. So you can authorize, um, you know, Jake to, to sign it minus task yeah. uh, 103. Do you have to generate a new one, or we can just utilize the one there with that crossed out with your initials, or? I think the intention is Jake was going to call them and have them send out a new one without the 103 in there. Yeah, everything else is saying okay. just remove 103, yeah. but rather than delay it for a couple weeks to say if, if it's acceptable to you guys and Don, so I authorize to sign this without with 103 removed, basically. All right, so I'll ask for a motion for Jake to sign that. With 103 removed. With 103 removed. I'll make the motion. Uh, okay. Trustee Belkin? Aye. Trustee Lansing? Aye. Trustee Apolito? Aye. Motion passes. Alright. So now I'm going to open up the public hearing on our 24-25 tentative budget. Village clerk, there was proper publication and posting of the notice of the public hearing? Yes. Drew a crowd. <laughs> yeah. He really does. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're only complain later. <laughs> it's just good to read into the record that it no, was published in the website Herald on yes. sufficient notice and all that stuff. Four entrances, Facebook, um, our website, and here. All right. <laughs> Nobody here has any questions. Um, we'll close public hearing at 723. So between now and when Two weeks when the budget is considered for adoption, you can still make changes to it. Yes, which we do have brings us to this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Already right, changes. Just um, type just a couple. Yeah, just a couple. Cool. So the first page is the budget modifications. The longer pages are just a reprint of the budget for general and sewer. Um, so we're, instead of changing the bottom line, I just decreased contingencies um, to compensate for the changes. Um, one change is to adjust an office staff salary so it's represented correctly, and the other was to give, um, uh, increase the um, legal fees 3% on sewer and um, make it more accurate in general. And if you look at the at the bigger handout on 
pages three, five, and six in blue are what I changed. So that's what we'll be voting on at the next meeting. All right. But we just wanted to do it now instead of surprising you at the next one. So we don't have to take any action, just so you are aware. I just forgot to ask for an increase in the legal. He hasn't had one in a while. Um, it was a, just a mistake with one person in the office. Not me. Um, Don, do you have anything this evening? Um, spring cleanup this year is going to be April, start on April 29th, we'll go around and get the leaves, um, and May 6th is our normal brush pickup. So the week before brush pickup, we're going to get, um, excuse me, do a leaf pickup um, for everybody doing their uh, spring yard cleanup. So um, just got to remind everybody every year, please keep them in separate tiles. And you know, rocks or bricks or metal, those things were being left. Um, so it would certainly damage the machines and endanger the, the guys picking everything up. So that's it. That's easy. Yeah, we have like um, smaller branches that are cut out of trees. Yeah. We put that out. Yeah, if they're really small, we should put them, we put them in a the tow here. Um, really. Yeah, usually it's on the website. The brush should be like an inch in diameter. Oh, okay. We've got um, some in the back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. all the little wispy things like willows and stuff break off. Okay. And, yeah, those should go in a toter because they, they're just too small for anybody to put into the yeah. chipper. Toter? Toter. I think that works. Yeah, I think something you said. Yeah, just one thing. Um, we've gotten a couple calls, actually several emails and calls, and Matt Chatfield has been getting calls from a, an individual um, asking about the New York Forward Grant, and so if you get any emails, we've just been letting them know at this point. The only information we have is on our website and Facebook. The individual has been calling a lot of places lately, and just wanted you to know if you get any emails, you can just forward them to us. Asking about what? Thinking that we're hiding something with the grant. I, yeah. Can't do anything until the right. governor exactly. appoints the committee. To the, yep. Which I don't think has happened. Uh, they actually, Matt sent out the invites today to the individuals and they're starting to get responses today. Not you, sorry, sir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably want to give everybody else a chance. Yeah. <laughs> you're on the you're on the other committee. I know. <laughs> That's all. Anybody have anything else to say? Mm -hmm. Rain makes everybody sleepy. It does. All right. And last delay oh. motion. That's a good list. <laughs>